Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been watching for a little while. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video just kind of explaining how I kind of want to pivot things on this channel and then show you a couple of my projects that I've been working on. Um, for a long time I've been kind of trying to get back into the swing of things uh, in terms of uploading more regularly. But I think my real problem is before I was doing a lot of beauty videos and even though I do still enjoy uh, beauty and makeup content, it like my heart's just not in it anymore. I think maybe partially just getting older, like I kind of have a routine now. I have um, sort of a set style of makeup that I wear from day to day. I'm not really interested in trying every new thing that hits the market. Um, and I just don't feel like I have a lot to add to that, I guess. So, um, I have been like struggling to come up with ideas for videos. And then I thought, well, why am I even bothering? I should be making videos about stuff that I'm actually passionate about. So, um, I've been on a real creative kick lately and, um, I, I just like to make stuff. I just like to make stuff. That's all there is to it. I made some nail polish. I started crocheting. Um, I was making soap before um, I met my husband and then my soap making kind of got put on a hiatus with us, you know, me moving and us getting married and just settling into married life and all my soap making stuff got kind of pushed into a corner. So I'm going to get back into that. Um, I have some crocheting projects that I want to start. So I'm going to have some yarn hauls coming up. Um, some more nail polish supplies coming because if you watched my last video with my little nail polish kit that I showed, um, I was going to go live or like make one on video to share with you guys, but I, I got too excited and I just made all of them. So um, I'll show you the ones that I made, but I, I got some more supplies to make more nail polish and I'll actually do some videos on that. And um, I started painting. I started baking more. I just like to make stuff. So I want this channel to be about that, the stuff that I'm actually really passionate about. Um, I mean, who knows, maybe if I come across some, you know, beauty or makeup products that really like wow me, I'll share them here and there. But for a while now, I've just, I haven't been super excited about it. So um, I am going to pivot this channel into stuff that I am actually more passionate about. And then I can upload more regularly. So um, I got into crocheting just a couple or like two and a half weeks ago. Um, I just randomly came across a video about temperature blankets and I was like, oh, that's a cute idea. So I started a temperature blanket. So here is how it's looking so far. I'm on day 19. These pink rows right here, those are 59 degree days in the middle of February in Michigan. Yikes. So, but I was excited to add a new color because so, you know, before that I only had the two greens. So I was very happy about that. And it was funny too, because the other day I was like, I want a new color. I'm like, if the temperature could just drop into the 20s for one day for me. And then I looked at the forecast and we have one day coming up where it's going to get down to 29. So I'll have one new color for one day. But um, anyways, <laughs> it's the little things that excite me. So that's my first crochet project is my temperature blanket. Um, and then as far as the nail polishes go, these, I made six nail polishes here. Uh, I made this sparkly, super sparkly, um, soft green, uh, this could really just be a top coat, like a glitter top coat, or I can build it up to get that full glitter effect. So pretty. It was just kind of screaming spring to me. And I love glitter. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then I made this blue one. I don't know, the sparkle in here is a little bit finer, so I don't know how well it's coming across on video, 
but this actually has a pigment in it that glows in the dark, which is very cool. So that was the first one that I made and wore and it did actually glow in the dark. It was pretty sweet. I love that one. And then um, I did this metallic blue. This one was a shimmer powder mixed with a couple of pigments. And then I added some uh, flaky glitters in there also. So there's that. This one here is probably my least favorite of the bunch, but I'm still excited to try. I haven't actually put it on my nails yet because um, I'm not a huge fan of this color of blue. But this is a thermal pigment in here. So when it's on the nails, it should actually be a rose taupe color. It's only this blue when it's cold. So when it's on my nails and it gets warmed up by my body temperature, it should actually turn to a different color. And then I added some, um, uh, what did I put in here? I put a, a flaky in there and also um, an Aurora Chameleon glitter, I think it was called. So, because everything, everything I make at, with nail polish has to have glitter in it. I love glitter. So I'm interested to try that one out. And then I made another super glittery, kind of chunky glitter berry shade. I have worn this one. It's very pretty on the nails. I was a little scared with the first coat that I put on because it went on pretty streaky, but the, the second coat built up really easily. So it only took two coats and I got that full glitter effect. But I love that. Nice, pretty berry, chunky glitter. And then the last one is this purpley blue kind of iridescent. Um, there is some holographic glitter kind of sprinkled in there. I don't know how well that's going to show up. But yeah, there's holographic glitter in there, kind of a blue to purple shift. Super pretty. I had tons of fun with this kit. Um, I got this from the Polish Pickup website. From what I understand from the group on Facebook, um, she does these kits maybe like two or three times a year for polish pickup. So, um, and, and then she also does them periodically on her own website. So I'll put the links to both of those websites in the description bar below. If you want to try one of her kits, I highly recommend it. It was totally worth it to me. Like I said, super fun. Um, and I was so into it that I like immediately after I finished making these, I ordered more supplies to make more. So, um, yeah, I just love that. The whole concept of it, it, it's great. I love it. It would make a good gift too for other DIY people in your life. So, um, yeah, I'll put the links for those in the description bar for those websites in the description bar below. And, um, yeah, that's all I really had to say. I'm just kind of, I'm going to pivot the channel a little bit and share the stuff that I'm really putting my heart into instead of trying to force myself to make beauty videos. So, but anyways, I hope everyone's having a great day and I will talk to you guys later.